It's a candy fairy sitting on a tree stump. The cloth in the back along with the decorations really give it a magical atmosphere. When you look at it, it almost seems, uh, feels like you're spellbound. Ah, oh, there's another blue one over there. It's just missing over that fairy. Well, we need to look first at the hidden truths of the real world. Don't be fooled by the fairies! Oh, I can't go for the cover. Okay. Unlike the other fairies, this one doesn't have a fluorescent cloth. It's delicious! It's not right to leave one out. I don't like it either. But one fluorescent cloth in a machine has gone missing. You've lost a cloth and a machine. What sort of machine is it? Why, let me tell you. Each piece of fluorescent cloth is hooked up to one of these machines. The machine is called a rainbow light device. RLD. The light is sent through the, ca the cable and into the cloth, which is made of optic fibers. Fiber optics! Just fiddle around with the settings a bit, and it will turn into all sorts of colors. When it glows red, it's like a raging inferno. And when it glows blue, you can just feel the glittering ice, co uh, cool ice. It's batter. It's uh, powered by a long-lasting battery that's resistant to changes in the temperature. I'm not very familiar with these kinds of devices. Mr. Edwards, she's saying it's a machine that transmits lights to the special cloth. I see. It's amazing what they come up with these nowadays. So one more rainbow light device. The one fluorescent cloth they're missing. Yes, see, that's right. Wherever they could they be? This fluorescent cloth, could it be related to the case? Since the Four Fairies Cave Castle, it seems that that was the theme of Delicia's work. It was not just the candy castle that I'm curious about. Now look at these things. No, I can't. We'll rest until- Oh! What the fuck? There's blood on it. Wow. Okay. Well, this, uh, clears a lot. The castle door is adorned with a beautiful cloth. I think this was the cloth that was used in the castle. Indra's ways are always beautiful. That's what a detective thinks. That's after Detective Bad's shoes have trampled all over it. But this is no time for sniper marks. Ex fucking excuse me! Looks like both the lamps on the pillars are broken. Both of the light bulbs are broken. Maybe they were dropped on the floor. There's some sort of red stain on this lamp surface. Blood! You fucking idiot! The stain. Could it be? That smell. There's no mistaking it. It's a blood stain. This old bitch going down. Uh, that's a blood stain! Why is there a blood stain on this lamp? I wonder if this has something to do with the, the lamp bulb being broken. I should also take a look at the other lamp. So this is where Delicia originally intended to put the lamps. I don't get why she put them in the castle. Since they're broken since they're broken and don't light up, maybe she decided to put them out of the way. If she wanted them out of the way. There are many other places to store them. It's like that old saying, hide the salt in the sugar bag. I think the saying goes, hide a tree in the forest. If Delicia intended to use these lamps as decorations during the contest, it creates a contradiction with that piece of evidence. I need to deduce the contradiction of the scene. I need to combine some stuff. Bum 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 bum! 
There is evidence that the victim was beaten to death with a blunt object. What's more, there is a blood stain on one of the ro broken rock salt lamps. Could this lamp have been the murder weapon? You're right, it could have been used as a weapon. Levy, this blood stain in hell since on the rock salt lamp finished. Yes, sir, it's finished just a few moments ago. Blood stain on that lamp belonged to the victim. You heard what he said. The murder weapon was hidden in Delicia's room. We need to consider her as one of the suspects as well. Somehow connected. Because he's like... Fuck, what was the exact wording again? Delicia's lamps broken. If they wanted them out of the way, there are many other places to store them. Delicia intended to use these lamps as decorations during the contest. It creates a contest. Oh, everything has to be edible. Yeah. There you go. Eureka! Oh. Detective Bad, please read the contest leaflet. Any decorations not made from dessert are prohibited. These rock salt lamps and the fluorescent cloth go against the rules. She's breaking the rules! So maybe that's why they were hidden in the castle. I wonder about that. I think we should investigate further into Delicia's actions. Damn, is she like... Using decorations that were against the rules and making fake desserts. A lot of delicia uh, delicious actions seem suspicious. Yeah, it doesn't seem like she's aiming to be the world's greatest pastry chef. Also, the temperature in this room is way too high. Is there a reason for that? I don't think she knows what the fuck is going on. Make desserts. I wonder. I think we should ask Delicia directly. Come here, bitch. You okay? Huh? Miss Delicious, you don't seem as energetic as you were earlier. Delicia, can I ask, did something happen with uh, Von Karma? Y yes, no, nothing of the sort. But you just said yes, see. <laughs> that yes, see just it was not only uh, was only a greeting. You're a cute boy. I like you. What's your first name? <laughs> it's Raymond, but well, Ray Ray. I think you'll make a good man of yourself someday. Ray Ray. How about that? I think you have a way with British ladies. She's a little different from my imaginary uh, image of a lady. Why don't we listen to what she has to say? You tell me about your actions during the contest. Yes, we began making desserts for the contest around 10 o'clock. Basically, I was in here making my dessert the whole time. At half past one, I joined the afternoon tea for about an hour or so. Afternoon tea. The social location where conversation is had over black tea and cakes. Um, so it's pretty much a tea party. Well, I suppose. <laughs> oh, Greggy, you're a smart boy, aren't you? When did I become Greggy? Where was the afternoon tea held? It took place in the gardens outside of the fountain patio.
It's our customary break time during the contest. It's always held at the same time. Zay, there were just three of us who took part. Jeffy, Katie, and me. Since Jeffy had already finished his creations, he was there from beginning to end. Icy and Gusty didn't join in because they hadn't finished their desserts yet. So everyone other than Mr. Dover and Mr. Gustavia participated. Yes, actually, I hadn't finished my dessert yet either. I just wanted to try some of Jeffy's handmade pastries and Katie's fresh brew tea. So, after I had eaten my fill, I returned before everyone else. During the contest, did you enter, enter any of the other contestants' rooms? Huh? What are you saying? We found your fingerprints on the desserts at the crime scene. Did <laughs> you found them? Are you admitting that you went to the scene of the murder? Well, I admit it. But I'm not the murderer. It's the honest truth. Hear me out. The honest truth. What were you doing in Mr. Master's room? The truth is, I'm studying his desserts. Studying? Because Jeffy's so talented at making sweets. Nobody was in his room at the time, so I decided to study his works for a bit. You tried to steal! But if you were just looking, you wouldn't have left your fingerprints behind. Yes, he. It's natural that I left fingerprints on the dessert. For the sake of research, I ate some of his desserts. Yeah. It's not like stealing food. It couldn't be. The one who wrecked Mr. Master's room was. I'm sorry. It wasn't my intention to vandalize the room, but... I did eat a few parts of the desserts in his room. You're fucking kidding me. I secretly ate little bits and pieces so Jeffy wouldn't find out. So, did you eat the ship stand as well? Yeah, see, I did. Oh my fucking god. The chocolate chip broke because of you. Oh, I'm sorry. So the reason she left afternoon tea early was to preserve her appetite. But you've got to believe me on this. I'm not the murderer. Her actions are sufficiently suspicious, but I won't pass it on, on it yet. Room temperature. Delicia, why is the room temperature set to 68 degrees? The cold doesn't agree with me. Plus, it's bad for the body. This figure doesn't uh, doesn't just maintain itself, you know. Yeah, the chocolate does. Naturally, as a lady, I want to look young forever. One day, cold help? I wonder how old uh, Miss Delicious really is. Raymond, a true gentleman, never asks a, a, a woman her age. Does it say how old? Just question marks here. Yeah, just question marks. So what, like 40? 50? This room is mainly filled with cream. And 50 degrees is the recommended temperature for preserving fresh cream. What? Really? Now it's all gone to waste. Looks like Miss Delicious doesn't know. Yeah, she has no idea what the fuck's going on. I thought she was suspicious to be a first class pastry chef. The fake desserts and the rule violations and now. The lack of basic knowledge. Looks like she keeps many secrets. Wow, we're finally presenting evidence. Boy, that thing you've got there is rather cute, Greggy. But the color is rather unappealing. Now, if uh, I were to coat it in with fresh cream... Stop it! Wait, what? Okay. Never mind, I actually literally got ahead of myself. I literally just got ahead of myself. And thought, wow, actually we're going to do something with this stuff. And it's like, nope, just kidding. You broke the rules. The stares at it. Delicia has knowledge and uh, knowledge in the art of dessert making is lacking in fundamental areas. And she claims she went into Mr. Master's room in order to study his desserts. These actions and ideas are not fitting of someone aiming to be the world's greatest pastry chef. Yeah, they don't sound like the words of a pro. It's like she doesn't even realize it or... 
Well, maybe she isn't a real pastry chef. Yeah, no fucking shit. Perhaps she had some other intention. It's possible that she didn't go into the room to study desserts. Said so that. Are you saying Miss Delicious is the criminal? Maybe. We can't say that for sure yet. But I know she's hiding something from us. I can't believe I got ahead of myself and thought we were actually going to present evidence. There's enough investigating. We found much more than I expected. Yet something from uh, uh, before still bothers me. Prosecutor von Karma must have not found the murder weapon in this room. Yeah, not that he cares. So then why did he let Delicious Delicia be? Firstly, I must ascertain von Karma's true motives. Detected bad, I would a like to ask von Prosecutor von Karma something. I've also got business with him. Delicia there too. <laughs> What's the idea, Batty? Don't glare at me like that. Since Detective Bat also has his doubt about Delicia and Von Karma. Delicia, would you come with us for a moment? Yes, that's fine. What for? We are to find Von Karma. There are some things we need to talk about. Arrest her! Prosecutor Von Karma, we need to talk about the case. Tisk tisk. From the look on your face, I assume you found the murder weapon? Yes. We discovered the murder weapon in Delicia's room. It would seem Mr. Master isn't the only suspect in this case. Ah, that's not true. Where well, the murder weapon was, does, was found does not change the fact that Master is the culprit. As long as I'm here. Why is Von Karma so sure of himself? Because he doesn't give a fuck. Well then, aren't you going to explain why the murder weapon was in Delicia's room? <laughs> Naturally. If you wish to know, I'll tell you. Got the murder weapon. In order to pin the crime on Delicia, Master used the rock salt lamp to kill the victim. He then deposited the murder weapon in Delicia's room. If he had left the murder weapon uh, at the crime scene, Master would have been the one suspect suspected. He couldn't move the body, but it was easy to move the murder weapon. Ergo, there would be no evidence pointing to a specific culprit at the crime scene. What? Mr. Master took the rock salt lamp. Precisely. I carried out the investigation myself. There can be no room for doubt. Do you have evidence that he moved it? Evidence. It'll not be necessary. What? Tisk tisk. You think evidence matters. If you have an objection, say it. Do you think a mere defense attorney can break my logic? Hmm. I'll press on that. Wouldn't the body left behind in his room also be cause for suspicion? Moreover, I have a favorite saying. I'd like to share it with you. Even dogs can wait. Wait until I've finished. That's exactly what I'd like to say to you. Hold it, brother. You're saying that Mr. Master removed the murder weapon and hit the body in the chest. He believed that if he had it inside his own work, it would not be discovered. So, Saber, what do you mean, I'm so sorry? She shows no sign of remorse. He moved the murder weapon, and he left the body at the scene. There we go. There would be no evidence pointing to a specific culprit at the crime scene. How can you conclude that Mr. Master is the killer without any evidence? Disc. You think that will shake me? 
You disappoint me. As long as the body was found in Mr. Master's room, he's the prime suspect. Is there really no evidence pointing to anyone else at the crime scene? Surely there's room for, n n for further investigation. Points. Insolent attorney. Another investigation is not necessary. Master must be the killer. If you think differently, seize these poisonous words and speak with evidence. Think back to the crime scene. Mr. Master isn't the killer. There must have been something there incriminating someone else. Seems Von Karma won't be shaken easily. I'll just have to present evidence that contradicts his reason. If you actually... Uh, okay. Fuck. This should work. God damn it. It should dumb. Desk. Such a boring interruption, defense attorney. He's laughing at me. I'm sorry, it wor both work. Fingerprints are on the thing. Or not fingerprints, but finger marks are on all of his shit. And also that stuff's been eaten. Whatever. It's true that the murder weapon and bloodstain have disappeared from the vicinity. However, there's still one piece of incriminating evidence left behind. Have a look at this photograph, which was taken when the body was first discovered. This cloth was used to wrap the body. Does it remind you of the fluorescent cloth from Delicia's room? Hey, my fluorescent cloth was at the crime scene? Huh? Fluorescent cloth? You! So what part of this cloth is for fluorescent? I guess Von Karma doesn't know about this cloth secret. It looks like a normal cloth at first glance, but if you use it, this rainbow light device, you can make it glow. What? <laughs> Mosquito on Karma. Seems a little surprised. I don't think it was the cloth's ability to glow that surprised him. One sheet of this fluorescent cloth is currently unaccounted for. Now, I'd like you, for you to look at the color of the cloth in this photo. Don't you think it looks uh, like the color of the fluorescent cloth before it's been lit up? <laughs> Both. Rock salt and lamp. And the fluorescent cloth originally belonged to Lulicia. Wouldn't it be natural to assume that this cloth was used to wrap the body? Prosecutor Von Karma, I believe the present conditions give us much reason to suspect of Delicia. Eh. What? Hold it, Greggy. Do you really suspect me? I don't yet know if you are the culprit. But it is true that you're holding, hiding something. Am I right? Oh, that's a... So, you're saying that the murder weapon and the cloth were originally from Delicia's room? Yes. Tisk. What's so funny? Just as I s s expected from you. The murder weapon and the cloth are not from a room. How unfortunate for you. What does he mean? What? <laughs> they literally are. Before the contest began, Mr. Master noticed a violation of the rules. He confiscated the cloth and the rock salt lamp and kept them in his room for safekeeping. What? The victim was not seen as he stayed locked up in his room after the contest had begun. The only one who could have unlocked the locked rooms was Jeff Master. And the murder weapon, the rock salt lamp, was being kept in Master's room. This is just not true. There should be the decisive evidence proving and uh, proving Master's guilt. Defense attorney. 
You've lost to me before you even had a chance to stand in court. What's this? What? Was all your our investigation for nothing? It's delicious. Why didn't you tell us about your confiscated items? Uh huh. Well, Minnie said I'd look suspicious if I did. Prosecutor Von Kong. And it's true, you all suspect me, don't you? Tisk tisk. How clumsy of your defense attorney. So that's why you let us investigate Delicious Room. And if you're clumsiness, there's one more thing I need you to inform you of. Two sets of fingerprints were found on the murder weapon. Two. Yes. They belong to Jeff Master and Delicious Scones. No other fingerprints were found. After Master killed Dover with the confiscated rock salt lamp, he foolishly concealed the murder weapon, bearing his own fingerprints with it in his owner's in its owner's room. Desk, desk. I don't even need to prove my case in court. I have more than enough perfect evidence to prove of Master's guilt. Objection. Hold it. I still have some doubts about the fluorescent cloth found in Mr. Master's room. Bah! Relevant. After disposing of the body, I intended to return it to the delicious room. I don't have enough have information to repeat Von Karma's reasoning. Nothing left to say. If your job is done, leave this place. That's... I can't give up yet. Huh. We've wasted enough time as it is. Bad, take him away. There is still some doubts left in our investigation. Detective Bad. What's the meaning of this? It's not my nature to leave any doubts behind. There's still one piece of evidence that is yet to be identified. That's right. There's still the traces someone left behind. Bad. Talk about the doubts as much as you want later. But this, my dear defense attorney, that's none of your business. No, I also have some doubts about one piece of evidence. It's likely that I have the same doubts Detective Bad has. What? This is the piece of evidence left in Mr. Master's room that has yet to be identified. Take that. Somebody left gloved finger marks on one of Mr. Master's desserts. If these were the killer's finger marks, then it's possible that the killer also didn't leave any fingerprints on the murder weapon. How did you know the state of the crime scene? I gave him permission to investigate. Bad! We possessed you to let a defense attorney into the crime scene. I don't recall you telling me not to let him in. Ah, such impudence! You best remember me. Your salary review depends on me. This isn't good for bad. Oh, I'm so glad I have a kind boss like Mr. Edworth. The salary re de uh, review depends on how you perform here. I'm surprised it would have been your attorney like you understand the coverage of such a short time. However, that's possible. Those fingerprints were master's own doing because he always wore gloves while cooking. Do you have any evidence that those finger marks were left by Master? And moreover, there's still a few points of suspicion surrounding Delicia. Oh. You still haven't given up on that? She literally admitted to eating chocolate in there. Oh, Craggy, you still suspect me. I've already apologized for stealing a few bites. I don't want to suspect you. However, I can't easily trust those who tell lies. You must still be hiding something. Oh, Craggy, it's a bully. Don't you know the temperature fresh cream must be kept at? You call yourself a dessert chef, but you lack even the most basic knowledge. Oh, I'm sorry for my lack of knowledge. In your case, it's not even about the lack of knowledge. In truth, you don't even know how to make desserts, do you? Defense attorney! Stop trying to force your own reasoning! In a court of law, the evidence tells all. You say the witness is lying, show it with evidence. We're not in court yet, but very well. This evidence shows that Delicia can't make desserts. Yeah, all of it's fake. The only things Delicia made uh, were those that broke the rules. The lamp and the cloth that broke the rules were being held in Master's room. There's no way the witness could have returned them to her room. 
Those were not the only fake desserts she made. What? The desserts may look like something out of a fairy tale at first glance. But in reality, they are nothing but mannequins decorated with cream. Apart from the cream, they're all fake. This is not something one aiming to become the world's greatest pastry chef would do. This true bad. Yeah. My shoes attest to that. Will that be enough evidence to convince Prosecutor Von Karma? Once he sees what Delicious has done, he'll have no choice but to be convinced. <laughs> okay. Delicia? The fact that your actions could lead you uh, to being a suspect is no ladder, laughing matter. That's... I didn't murder. Isn't it time you told us the whole truth? Who are you? And why were you intruding, inducing your... In, including yourself in this competition? Yes, yeah, I understand. 